What else is new on the menu? Tonight we have the cheeses. Hello, but my name is Johnny Hunter, and I'm one of the partners here at Four Quarter Restaurant. Yeah. What, are, what are we serving on top of that right now? We try to be a neighborhood restaurant, but we also really want to be creative. We had some, some really good press to begin with. Nationally, as like best new restaurant in the country, through a couple different award ceremony things, we still continue to try to really impress and work hard on making sure that what we're doing is unique and interesting. But when Farm to Flavor came around and Seed to Flavor came around, the idea that we could work with a plant breeder who would be able to hone in on unique characteristics of a vegetable was incredibly exciting for me because the flavors that have kind of been developed happened over thousands of years of selection. Now we have an opportunity to identify traits, say we really like that, and see the possibility of that affecting how we cook here day to day. In the discussion with the chefs we had in January, they said they like as big as you can get with good flavor. My name is Julie Dawson. I'm interested in knowing what you're looking for. So I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Horticulture at UW-Madison. So yeah, the curving doesn't worry me, but that and that. So we do variety trials that are focused on quality for direct markets and also productivity in diversified vegetable farms. Yeah, we usually put flags at ours. During the summer, a lot of seed company breeders visit to see their trials, see their lines, how they're doing here in Wisconsin and they are looking for production, for yield and disease resistance, and then also they really focus on flavor and quality. We also work with growers, which give us really great feedback, but the experienced researcher who can give us yield data and taste test data and fruit quality data is extremely helpful in making those selections to try and get the very best things into the catalog for our customers which definitely will translate into an increased popularity of the new variety and increased profit. We have four breeding groups now. We need to end up with one. So I'm going to ask you to rank them in order of your favorite. So today we're having a group of chefs evaluate different vegetable varieties for flavor. And we work with a, a core group of chefs that can give us feedback on specific varieties, but also articulate what they're looking for in vegetable flavor, what gets them excited. I would recommend doing this set first and then that set. You know, if like a really amazing vegetable is produced, and then, you know, we have the opportunity to be the first on the ground to kind of be like, hey, I'm, I was part of this, like, I can really be excited about it, and, and then to see it come out of Wisconsin is also exciting. Does it have signature beet flavor? As a chef, it's very useful. You're just learning more about vegetables and turn types. Trying each one of them is knowledge that I'm using to make my dishes better. For me, it's, you know, it's just educating my, our customers more. So she's giving me more information. In return, I can give it to my customers so they can make better choices in their food. So this is the Farm to Flavor dinner, and we invited the farmers to come to this dinner as well as the public to experience what the chefs can do with some of the varieties that we've been working in. And so this tomato was like the one thing when we did the tomato tasting that I was like blown away from. So I wanted to like give people a chance to like try that Okay. I did a cold juice. Now I feel like we have a conversation that is really meaningful. Thank you. Please enjoy. The language has been learned between people who are in the culinary field and people who are breeding for flavor that allows for something unique to happen. It's really exciting for me. I think that the chefs enjoy the public outreach and really interacting with the public a lot. and. This wouldn't be possible without them, and so it feels really good to put them front and center and have them show off what they can do with our vegetables. Different approach to research, and we do the nerdy scientist thing in the winter and analyze all the data, uh, but we also want to celebrate what it's about, which is really producing good food. <laughs>